Over the years here on the Zoo Files, we've shown the variety of ways and the tremendous impact that technology and modern science are having in providing care for the animals here at the North Carolina Zoo. Recently, the zoo's southern white rhinos, our second largest land animal, became the beneficiary of advances in artificial insemination, or AI. Zoo senior staff veterinarian Ryan DeVoe tells us how high tech may someday help save this threatened species. In the wild, southern white rhinos are actually considered threatened. North American captive populations of white rhinos are in fair shape, though we don't have quite as much reproduction as we would like. They're difficult to breed in captivity, for one, because they're, they're big and they take up a lot of space and resources. They seem to do best when they're given lots of space. They're more motivated breeders when they have competition to work against. The group of German scientists that came to help us out, it's a group of veterinarians from the University in Berlin. They actually specialize in reproduction of all wildlife with a focus on pachyderms, and they're very well known and respected throughout the world for the work they've done, especially with elephants and rhinoceroses. They've pioneered many of the techniques with artificial insemination. The first visit that the German team made was simply to assess the animals we have here for their reproductive capabilities. The surprise that we found was that our bull that we hold is not a good breeder. So we collected semen from other rhinos at other facilities and brought it in to inseminate our animals here. While artificial insemination for exotic animals remains a fledgling science, it still provides one of the best hopes for retaining captive populations of rhinos in American zoos. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.